Well, this is the new 5.8 ground station. We're going to get the 32 channel 2 uh, two channel, which is two separate VTXs can be used with this new VT, v, VRX that I'm getting, the 32 channel 5.8. So you can have inputs from two different channels and outputs from those two channels. Or you can have diversity from uh, two different antennas. So that's the new one that's on eBay. So we'll be testing that out. But I got this case today, and this case is a, it's got a weird name. It's a, let's just close it up here for a second. It's the original locker bag by Ugio. <laughs> and lots of room for props in the side here. More batteries if you want. More props here. I have the panel ready for the 5.8 so that will be extended upwards and stand with the zip shut to the edge of it and it'll stand on its own for my fat sharks which are inside but this is a uh, unique because I can, I'll be able to fit in everything that I need to fly into one case including my multi-rotor which is here and it'll have 5.8 on it, so I'm going to have an increase in flight time because the weight of the 5.8 will uh, lighten it up, as well as the cameras will be reduced to one, the Pilot 2 Fat Shark camera, which has the SD card in it and HD recording. So I'll be able to get rid of the keychain, and uh, as well as the 5 volt uh, board camera at the bottom there with the GoPro lens, which is quite heavy. So we'll be replacing all of that with the Fat Shark. I got a lens for a GoPro coming uh, that I could put on the Fat Shark camera if I want for proximity flying, but we're going to try it out as is. Um, so that fits in there really well. Then I have my transmitter with a foam wrap around it to protect it. And if, this is the free, uh, FR Sky with the uh, FR uh, Sky DJT module on the back. So that fits in there well. This uh, LCD is broken on this transmitter, which is a drag, but uh, I get my, got my Fat Shark goggles. Lots of room for my antennas, that kind of thing. I can probably show you here how I can prop it up. I have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 on the quadcopter uh, batteries, so I have over uh, 70 minutes or around 60 minutes of flight time. Fits in now with the new 500 size that I'm building in the same format. I'm going to be able to fit it into this bag as well because I'm going to make the arms detachable and uh, then they'll fit in there with the motors on them. I've got the body done. Uh, all the NASN stuff fits in. I have to transfer over these motors probably uh, to the new arms, but I still have to do some drilling and cutting up tubes. So there you go, that's the new case. Really nice cases if you want to find a nice ground station case. It has quarter inch aluminum banding on each side here, so it's very, very solid. And it has a handle as well as a strap and outer pouch here as well for paperwork and it is the Oglio ground station for my 330 HBX